Okay, so we're gonna now take a uh, video and use Google Drive to turn in a shared URL. Okay, so basically the workflow is this, you know, you make a project, it's something you can't just take a photo of or your teacher wants a video. So basically a video is kind of too big for Canvas. You could use the Canvas app and upload it, but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a video of the phone and then upload it to Google Drive and then share it, use or turn it in using a shared URL for the for the teacher, okay? All right, ready? So, so basically what we got here is that we have got our phone. Okay, and we're just gonna go ahead and take a video. So I'm gonna give that a shot here. Okay, so obviously my, my emulator here is gonna have a little bit of problem. Uh, okay, so, all right, so we got our video. Okay, and as it turns out, um, my project is the slime that my daughter just made. So uh, here we go. So we're, we're going to go ahead and take a video. So, hey, this is my amazing project. Hey, this is my amazing project. Isn't it incredible? So that's uh, just gross, I think. I don't know. Okay, so that's the slime, right? And it's, you know, I'm describing how I made it, something about my amazing video or sorry, my amazing project. Um, okay. Okay, so we have our video. All right, so we're gonna click on it on our phone and then we're gonna go ahead and upload it to Google Drive. So we got our video of a very old man with a daughter that just made a very disgusting project. All right, here we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and share it. Okay, so we're gonna share it and then we're gonna click save to drive. Now, um, the videos can get very large very quickly. Okay, so you want to, I would say if it's a minute to two minutes of video, you know, maximum. But that, that's just me, you know, maybe you wanna do something else, so. Uh, but these files can get very large very quickly. Um, also, um, I'm not showing it here, but, but really sharing video on YouTube is a lot easier. So when you upload video files to your Google Drive, that goes against your storage amount. Um, which is 15 gigabytes if you have a free account. It's unlimited if you're using a, a district account or a school or a work account. Um, so, uh, so just be aware, you know, if you upload to, if you have projects like that just showed my face, you know, but obviously I'm using my computer, so I'm sitting right in front of it. When you upload uh, videos, you definitely should not have your face in them, okay? So that's like you're, if you're a student watching this and you're a minor, uh, no video that you upload should have your face in it, or you, you really shouldn't be in it. You know, your hands, you could show the project on a desk, something like that, but you shouldn't have your, you know, you shouldn't have screencast type video that I, or not screencast, but like webcam type video that I just took. Um, it was just an example. Okay, so so basically we named the project something that is unique, like my 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 slime project, all right? And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save to Google Drive. Now, sometimes the folders on Google Drive don't update as often as we might like. So I often just save it to Google Drive, like the, the root of Google Drive, like the, you know, the main folder of Google Drive, and then kind of move it on later. Okay, so I went ahead and clicked share, right? And now it's preparing for upload. And now notice in your phone, uh, notice that it's uploading one one of uh, one um file here so so already it's at a megabyte you know so these video files can get quite big so just you know be aware um if you post it to youtube instead uh, if your school or parent and, and parent allows that um then basically what you can do is you can upload it to youtube you can turn it um turn it to unlisted so it's not like listed for people to search and then basically you need the url nobody has the url except what you're turning into your teacher but double check that before you use youtube you double check with your your parent in school to make sure they're okay with it so um okay so what was that all right so we took our video on our phone we shared it with google drive it's uploading now uh, we made sure that our face wasn't in it even though my example obviously had my my very old face in it um, so we're going to wait for it to upload. All right, so let's take a look in our Google Drive here. Now, as it's uploading, you can kind of watch this. 
Depending on your network speed, this can take quite a while. So that short video already was, you know, what I'm guessing, 13 megabytes, 15 megabytes. So it's uploading. Okay, so there we have it, it's uploaded. And now when I reload Google Drive, I should see it right here. There it is, my slime project. And now I'm gonna move it. So basically, you know, I, I organize things in folders, so you should too. Um, and basically I'm gonna drop it, school is kind of my example for students. So basically, you know, if you have your year, your class, you know, let's say that, you know, you're in 12th grade, right? And you know, this is, that's the year you're in. Basically, you might wanna have like folders for individual classes, like say this was science, right? Uh, you might want to go ahead and put that uh, put that video inside a folder for your particular class. Uh, maybe not. You know, it's up to you. Uh, I really suggest being organized. Otherwise, these things can get out of hand. Okay, so we got our we have our file. We've uploaded from our phone. We've organized it. You know, we moved it into the correct folder, and now and we have a good um, solid name on it. You know, we can tell what it is just by looking at the name. We're going to right click and click Get Shareable Link. Okay, so we right clicked and then left clicked on Get Shareable Link. I'm going to click on the um, the name. Oops. It sometimes just automatically copies. Um, so I click, usually I click get shareable link. I click on it to highlight, then control C to copy. Um, you can also go to share settings. You can click copy link in share settings and then done. Okay, now we're gonna go turn it in. So we're going to go back to our uh, assignment here. Click Submit Assignment. Um, whoops. In theory, this should not have those. There we go. Okay, so it should just have a website URL. Okay, so then we're going to right click and we're going to paste. And that's our website right there. Okay, and then Submit Assignment. Okay, so we right clicked and then left clicked on paste. I'll do it again just so you, if you didn't, didn't catch it there. Okay, if we reload the page, notice that we see assignment submitted. Okay, we can resubmit assignment. Once again, I right click, I click paste. I'm sorry, right click. And then I left click on paste and then left click submit assignment. You really do need to double check. So I've seen a lot of like odd things happen. You know, if it takes a while to submit the assignment or something like that, if you go away from the web page and you don't see it, it's a problem. Okay, so so basically what we can do is to double check it, we can click submission details and then um, and then basically it will have this link here. So you can click on the link just as the teacher would. Whoops, don't do that. Um, so since it's a video, it's not going to show up right here. So we click view and new tab. Okay, and notice that it goes right to your assignment and then you can go ahead and play it if it's, if it's been processed. There we go. That's exactly what your teacher will see. Okay, so uh, there we have it. Uh, give it your best shot in practicing turning in a video using Google Drive shared URL. Best of luck.